Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. So today I wanted to give you guys kind of like a Sims 4 build, realistic build, like collection, basically for Oasis Springs because I am ready to go and hop on to our next two worlds. To start off with is my El Sol, Sol Del Rio apartment complex. Now, I'm in build mode. I'm going to show you guys this in build mode just because it's a lot faster for me and easier to two move it's one story apartments and they only have one bedroom in there one bath um and they're fully functional um fully functional fully furnished furnished um so yeah you don't have to worry about furnishing if you don't feel like furnishing um you can honestly delete all the cc inside and furnish them yourself if that's what you want to do a um move in ready completely furnished home apartment and it's for a male sim that i made uh, for my game so it's decorated for him but yeah so over here we have some anime posters this is the front door. There's nothing in here. He has some shoes and a hat hanging up. And then the thermostat, a light switch, and this, like, what is this? A vent right here. But nothing like major going on over there. Over here, we have a little table for one. Okay. Um, some books. He have a guitar in the back. Empty pizza box. And, you know, some condiments. And then this is the washer and dryer. He needs to obviously pick up his clothes. We got the, what is this, paper towel rolls, some laundry detergent, well not laundry, dish detergent. Looks like the off-brand dish detergent. So yeah, this is the stove and the appliances over here. And then we're going to come over here to his like small like living room area. He just has his like stuff on here. There's a table right here. Um... But yeah, he has some like anime posters, so he's really into like the anime and gaming and stuff like that. As you can see, it's where he does his work. Okay, so I felt like he was in like the social media career, so I gave him a little setup. Okay, he has his phone here, his headphones, his mic, his streaming deck. He had a little coffee over there, you know, he had to go get him some graphics early in the morning. Um, he has his like printer and his PC over here. He needs to pick up his stuff. He got some Coca-Cola on the floor, okay? Um, he has some Amazon boxes over there, his slippers and his like little speaker and stuff is over here. And then um this is the poster over here. The poster, the picture frame, okay. He has like his little LED lights and stuff. And his little YouTube plaque, okay? Like he is really doing his thing. Um, hygiene stuff over here as well his his um laundry detergent is over there as well so then we're gonna come over here and this is his bedroom it's pretty pretty basic i feel like um for a boy's room he has this like anime stuff well actually i feel like this is way more than just basic for a boy's room okay um he actually like took his time and decorated his apartment with things that he loves so yeah this is what it's looking like got his little supreme um What's this case over there? And yeah, he just he just got his like you know his groove. He got his you know his little space or whatever. And then I made this one for a girl. So I really really um love this apartment. Okay, it's giving. I don't know. I just really really love this. Like the pinks, the reds, the yeah. So this part um this person obviously has a cat or some sort some sort of animal um i add a little like shoe thing right here maybe she sits right here puts her shoes on before she goes out the door and i put some little posters up here i thought this was cute and then um yeah so when i say she likes the color pink yeah she loves the color pink so i went to a little hookah she does that she also was an aka apparently or is an aka um so yeah, that's cool. Then this is her little dining area. She doesn't have a laundry room area in here, but she does have a bigger space for her um dining. So I think this is super cute. I love the mirror, like taking pictures right here. That gotta be cute. And then right here, this is the kitchen. Um fridge and stuff is over here. She has a little Stanley, some cleaning products, some grease, you know, trash bags, all of that. And, you know, this is just our kitchen. It's not, you know, not 
too much going on, but that is her kitchen. I feel like she cooks, but mainly like she um, orders takeout most of the time probably. And then over here, this is a little wall that I did. I thought it was so cute, okay? Like the pillows, you know, it's all coming together. And then this is her bedroom. Let me, because I'm, okay, what happened? Okay, so she did have a vanity up here all set up and stuff, but I guess I was cleaning up my game. I must have deleted it, which sucks. So I'm going to put something there. Probably going to put like a little table and mirror because that's what I basically had. But yeah, she has a little laundry room. Laundry room? Her little laundry hamper right here. And then this is her space. Like, oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, like look at it. I don't have a sim um, in mind for this area yet, but when I do, she's going to be moving in, in here. So, her bathroom is right here, and so, so freaking cute, like, so freaking cute, okay? Um, now, the, what is this, the curtains won't come in this because they are up, wait, actually... I don't know if these ones are because I have made some other um, swatches, but I am am going to be changing this just because um, there's a little error with this shower curtain that I am working on. So that's just this one is being worked on. So this won't be in the download, but it will be a different shower in here. Um, but this is the area. So, yeah, she definitely has a cat. It's a cat litter in here, her robe, towels, you know. Some girl stuff. She has a little Listerine and stuff. I'm obsessed with putting this Listerine in all my builds. So, yeah. And then her toilet paper and stuff right here. So, yeah. Her, this is her little bathroom or whatever. And then she has a... Also has a patio. I don't think I put anything on her patio, though. I feel like she doesn't come out here much. Okay? Like, she doesn't really come out here at all. Okay. So, now we're going to go ahead up the stairs. Okay. So we're now upstairs, and this is what it's looking like. I keep on grabbing stuff. Okay, but this is what it's looking like. So we're gonna go in this first apartment, which is the empty one, but the um, kitchen and stuff is done. And so it is moving ready. You just gotta furnish it yourself. And yeah, these kitchens are a little bit more bigger, and it has more space. So. Yeah, it also comes with a balcony out here with some nice views, okay? I feel like this is nice, like, you know, I think it's nice, okay? But yeah, so this is the front entryway when you walk in. This is what it's going to look like. Got the stairs right here because this is a two-story um, apartment complex. Well, apartment. So, yeah, it does come with that upstairs. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. It also comes with a back patio, so you got a front and back, and the water heater is out here. And then this is the view from down there. You can see the Dollar Tree down there, okay? You can you literally in walking distance of Dollar Tree, as well as the Taco Bell is down there, too. So, yeah, your Sims can, like, really have, they don't have, shouldn't have no problem, like, ordering stuff. That's why I feel like the one downstairs, she orders a lot, because... It's just in her area, okay? You also have some views. So you can see the 7-Eleven. You got KFC that's right across the street from your apartment. Like, yeah, you just, you just, you, you live in like a nice area. So I feel like you can be paying a little bit more, okay? But let's go ahead upstairs. Okay, so when you come up the steps, it's a little bit narrow up, up here. But we're going to come over here. So this is a bathroom, toilet, shower, sink, you know, all of that type of stuff. This is the empty apartment, by the way. Um, it also comes with another balcony upstairs, which is in the hallway. So this is the view as well. And then there are, I don't know how many bathrooms. Okay, there's, we only went through one. So this is another room, it's big space, nice windows, you know. You go to walls melting, so excuse that. And then I'm about to go down the steps. Okay, you're gonna come over here into the next room. And so yeah, so it's two bathrooms and then two bedrooms. Um, but yeah, this is the master bedroom, and it has its own balcony as well, which has some nice views, I would say as well. And then this is the master bathroom. Yeah, and then 
yeah that's this whole apartment so let's go ahead to the next apartment complex okay y'all so don't mind the tissue okay i'm was in here decorating a little bit just a little bit so yeah let me let me let me come over here up being in this apartment so when you come up this apartment it has a little welcome mat. i did decorate this one a little bit because i will be decorating this for a family but i didn't go ahead and finish it because you know i'm just not ready to finish it right now but it is mostly furnished um got a little package here a little you know clothes and coats and you know little hanging area i feel like this is a nice degree i feel like the people who live here um are there's a doctor her mom the mom is like a nurse or something um, and then the dad is like construction i feel like i don't know but this is their space so yeah like i feel like the mama don't play like she wants her, her pillows and stuff right um she probably have a yeah and then this is what her you know living room is basically looking like you know i got the house phone you know also got a balcony out here as well with some good views too okay and then this is the living room i feel like the people who live here are like from african descent so i don't know i don't know if they jamaican or you know Nigerian, I'm not really sure, but I did feel like they have, you know, migrated over here. So as well as the dish, like what is it, pail, whatever. Got the little cookie jar, okay. Um, but yeah, this is some little stuff that they got hanging up: soy sauce, baking powder, you know, popcorn, you know, stuff like that. And then, ooh. When you come out here there's another little balcony as well just like the um uh, one we just toured and then it has a little chair you know they don't really come out here as much okay she doesn't really like feel like it's safe for the girls to come out here she has two girls uh a toddler and then she has a child so yeah she doesn't really feel safe with them coming out here so yeah she doesn't allow them to be out here so it's like a little dusty out there and then the trash can is right there in the corner Okay, they got some nice views as well. I'm gonna come down here to this door. I got a little toddler room, so I'm I'm decorating this for um the toddler. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then this is the master bedroom, I believe. So it was a big space, okay. And then this is the master bathroom. So yeah, all the bedrooms and bathrooms got the same stuff, okay. Now, they allow you to paint, but you got to know that um, once you move out, this will be a $200 fine per wall, okay? Per wall, okay? Well, per room, we should say. So, every room that's painted will be $200, okay? Um, but she has been planning on moving for a while, so she just going, went ahead and did it anyway. But, yeah, this is their view. Um, but this is what a child be living at. Okay, she did not feel safe with having her child in here, but she felt safe with having her daughter in this room. Um, just because she did go ahead and let's say lock this door. So she can't open this door. Um, but she would feel more safer with the child being here than her toddler. And yeah, this is the apartment for them as well. So let's go back downstairs to the main lobby. Alright, so when you come down in the main lobby area there's nothing much going on in here okay but if you open these doors it's like the this is the community space okay so we have washers and dryers and well as sinks provided for you um you will have to put a quarter or two in here to wash your laundry but it is there for people who don't have laundry mats um i believe he's the only one who actually has a um laundry um I think he's the only one who has like you know his own washer and dryer so you can have your own but it is um a little laundry room over here um also the mailbox area is up here as well so there's some packages waiting here for somebody to come and get i hope nobody steals them but then we have the broom and dustpan in here and then we're gonna come through these doors and this goes straight outside so out here is just you know it's a little bit trashy this neighborhood obviously the trash needs to be picked up okay it's disgusting um but you know that's what you get 
when you come into this apartment complex okay they do have a little eating area so you sometimes can grill out here and sit with their family but i feel like they're gonna get fined for this somebody's obviously getting fined for this i don't know i don't know <laughs> i don't know who decided to dump their trash right here but that's disgusting so it needs to be cleaned up but this is the um el Sodel rio apartments okay and we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next build okay so we're now in the next build and it's my public pool for the world of oasis springs so this is what it's looking like it's just this open area over here and then we have a um some little parking spots right here for yourself to come and park mainly this is for the front pe um, desk people you can park on the like street oh not the every he's in every freaking video um but this is what it's looking like so we got some little sprinklers over there when you come over here you're gonna you know come get your little ticket or whatever or you know pay your three dollars um to get into the pool when i went to a public pool it looked just like similar to this and we had to you know pay right there three dollars and for kids and like five dollars for adults and then yeah so just a little office there's not much in here just like i was thinking that this was like lost and found stuff and then like one of the people's bikes that work here and then like you know some little posters and stuff like that for training um they have an atm over here oh okay got somebody um at the pool it's not it's not supposed to be open but okay um this is the locker room slash wash area so this is the boys bathroom and um this is what it's looking like just got some showers and some sinks in here and then this is like a little wall mirror area where you're supposed to come take pictures and then we got the locker room areas over here so i left their things in here and then this is the girls um wash area same thing they all look the same and then this is the bathroom area so there's no um flashing allowed no cameras are allowed in here at all so yeah this is like the toilet the same you know all that good stuff they both look the exact same and then oh oh okay let's not go through the wall and then you're gonna come this way right across i actually got this bill like you know reference idea from the park that i would went to but i also got this from a video i saw on youtube and i really love it like look at the skylight like that is just so pretty is that the moon or is that a light i don't know um but this is the kitchen oh do not mind that i did not know that was um floating but yeah they got some grills over here for your sense of grill there's also a stove if they need to make anything that's not you know cooked on the grill i thought it'd be fine because you know to have you some people have like a little pool party or whatever it'd be nice to have you know a stove as well as grills there's also some fridges in here and then your son is going to come right out here and you know there's some puddles you know <laughs> discoloration um we got some tables over here for your sims to sit and eat and you got like a little lake down here with some water like it's just so pretty oh look at oh my gosh she's just sitting here lounging okay sunbathing i mean there's no sun but you do you okay you do you um but this is the pool and i used to round pool tools for this so yeah and then um we got some pool rules and some like floaties and stuff i set this area up for your students to have like picnics and stuff um up here so i thought that was nice there's also some advertisement advertisements about the aquarium which is like it was another cp i am going to be doing a zoo and an aquarium in this um save so yes yeah, stay tuned for that but over here is the kitty area so uh, when i went to last time i went to a public pool there um they have this kitty area for the little kids and stuff with like sprinklers and stuff like that and they have like a little mini pool but i really couldn't fit that in here and your sims i don't think they like little kids can get in those pools but i think that your little sims can get in these ones so i did go ahead and put one of those in there as well as these like fountain like things i think this came with the get together pack or growing together pack i mean so yeah 
that's that and then i can sit in because you know safety reasons precaution and then we got some little light vests up here not light vests what is these the little boat looking thing i don't even know what they call it okay but we got those over here as well because we is not playing safety okay also there's an atm machine up here and there is more like you know things about the aquarium okay and then yeah so this was looking like so far um also put this house down here um i'm gonna kind of go down here and show y'all some stuff um this home right here is actually up on my patreon so if you guys want to go get it you can um i have started to basically fill this area up with homes and stuff like that i hate when this sometimes put decorations and stuff down um because literally like i gotta go and change this back because that is not the day at all but like this is not the holiday that i wanted to be um but yeah that's, that's what we i'm not i'm not gonna go you know i'm not gonna go no farther than that because there's a build over there that i'm really excited to show you guys but that's gonna be its own separate video so we're gonna go ahead to the next build okay guys so that's gonna be the end of this video um i'm gonna be doing this i feel like every once in a while where i showcase more than one build on one video just so i can speed up the process um i feel like every build doesn't need its own video so that's kind of what i'm going to be doing for now on i hope you guys really really enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up like comment and share um and yeah i'm going to see you on the next video let me know what kind of videos y'all want um i think i'm going to be getting ready to um record another episode of the lp as well as kind of getting some things ready for um a little series that i want to do on the channel that i've been preparing for for a while um and I'm still preparing for it, but I kind of do want to start a new series as well um, because we have a couple more episodes with the Love Struck pack. And then that series is going to be over. Once she gets her, you know, dream man or whatever, or whoever she's dating, um, and she's like locked down with them, then that's kind of where I'm going to end it off unless you guys want to keep going. Um but yeah, I'm going to catch you on the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed these builds. Remember, these builds will be up on my Patreon. So if you want to go and get them, you can go ahead and grab it. The link is down below in my description box. And I'm going to catch you on the next one. Bye, pinkies. I ain't never been poor. Used to play Sims 4. Put a little wall around. Niggas take the door off. Trap me in the swim pool.